You want to convert your landscape or horizontal videos into the vertical or portrait mode videos because you want to upload them to YouTube Shorts, Instagram Reels or maybe TikTok. Then this tutorial is for you because I am going to show you how you can do that using a free video editing app which is called CapCut. I will be covering three different scenarios. The scenario one is that the object or the subject of interest in the video is not moving too much from the frame it is like fixed to that frame second is that the object or the subject in the video is moving from one place to the other place and the third one is that in case you don't want the original audio of your own video and it is okay that you can add some effects to that video or your app add some automatic effects to it using some templates uh, which can be done using the shortcut feature of the CapCut app then that would be our scenario number three so without a delay let's start our tutorial tap on the new project and go to the location where your video is located in my case i have already downloaded some stock videos for this tutorial from the pixel website if you want to use them then link is in the description select the video tap on the add button and as you can see currently the video size is horizontal like the youtube videos at the bottom you can see there is a format button tap on that currently the feed has been selected by default because it is using the size of the original video and next to it there is a 9s to 16 aspect ratio which is nothing but the aspect ratio of the vertical video so tap on that you can see the video has been converted to the vertical video or the portrait mode you can simply export now if you are happy with this or you can do some edits because for example the original video has been resized in the width to fit the width of the vertical canvas size height i would say more or less is same but most of the space is being invested for example at the top at the bottom there is this black color and obviously all these girls are clearly visible when the video is in the horizontal mode and now as it is in the let's say vertical mode the size of the video is smaller and obviously then the girls are not that much visible and again if in the video you had very small objects or something like that then they will not look good and maybe you want to let's say zoom in but be careful that the original video which you want to which you are trying to convert from horizontal to vertical videos have a very high quality because when you are zooming in the quality of the video will reduce a little bit so if you already have very low quality horizontal video and you are converting to the vertical video and later you are trying to zoom in into that the pixels will be clearly visible and it won't look good so my advice would be to have a good quality video from the beginning there are certain softwares which can enhance the low quality videos to the high quality but i would say they are mostly present in the pc softwares i am not aware about any app in the app store so let's say you want to zoom in because anyway in this video or in this example video the left hand side is kind of there is nothing happening all the three girls are on the right hand side so let's zoom using the two fingers the video using one finger you can let's say position it like this and let's shake till the end of the timing as you can see at the end the right hand side girl is being cropped so maybe we can pull it towards the left but then the left hand side girl will be cropped so Let's zoom out a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, like this is okay. So that's how you can convert it. And obviously, if you want to change this black color to any other color, then you can go back, select the canvas option. There are three different options you can tap on the color and choose any color of your choice to change the background color or there is a background option 
you can select any image from your gallery which is the second button so it will take you to the gallery options or you can use the already existing images from the CapCut app as a background or there is a third option which is nothing but like a Instagram effect it uses your video as a background and it blurs so as you can see it is using the same video and it is blurring the video by a different percentage so I, I think the first one is 25% second one maybe 50 75% blur and the last one 100% blur and that's how you can convert the horizontal videos to the vertical let's go to the second scenario where the subject or the object is moving from one place to the another too much I have already added the video to the timeline and as you can see the person is going from left to the right hand side so again we go to the format select the 9s to 16 which will convert the video to vertical you can keep like this or using the two fingers you can zoom in and fill the whole canvas but as you can see the person is not visible so it will he will be visible at one point and then again he will go out of the frame but let's say we want that person always on the screen then you need to use keyframes if you have checked my all the other tutorials then you must be aware what keyframes are so tap on the video and you can see the diamond shape button with plus sign near to the play button so tap on that using the one finger drag the video towards the right till that person is visible then go to the point where is not visible anymore again move the video bring him into the frame in the middle maybe and yeah he is going again out of the frame here so again move the video and as you can see the this red color diamond shapes are being added because between these two the video will bring that person into the frame so it is moving like we moved to reposition the video in the frame and at the end maybe just drag it like this because in in the video itself in the original video itself he is again going out of the frame and let's preview it So as you can see, the person is always in the frame. So that was the second scenario that you can zoom in the video to cover the whole canvas and using the keyframes if let's say the object or the person is moving, you can bring him back to the frame of the video. So he or that object is always visible. And let's go to the third scenario. Like in the beginning of the tutorial, I told you that we need to use shortcut feature for scenario 3. So tap on shortcut. I am going to select the video from the very first scenario. Tap on next. It will be analyzed and then it will create some templates. Right now you can see there are three templates which has been created automatically. We will see or preview them one by one. But before that, I would like to tell you something. For example, I have selected only one video and it has created the three templates. If I want to create more templates and if I click on this refresh button or more template buttons, nothing happens. But if you have, let's say, more than one video, then there will be more than three templates. You can tap on that button and it will again create more templates. I have created a in-depth tutorial about the shortcut feature so you can check that the link is in the description and there i have covered each and every option inside the shortcut so here i am not going to deep dive into that if you want to learn more about it just check the another tutorial let's preview them one by one how they have been created So as you can see uh, the original audio is not being used there are some another sounds being added uh, different effects and they are like 
matching to the bits of the sound so these are basically the templates created by this shortcut feature automatically if you tap on the edit button you can see that you can edit the clips if you click on the edit drop it will take you to the usual screen that you always see when you create a new project so that's how you can create the vertical videos using your existing horizontal videos and then you can upload them to the youtube shorts instagram reels or tiktok if you want to see more tutorials about the CapCut app then there is a link of the playlist in the description there is also a playlist for a light motion app tutorials if you are interested into that that is also a very good app if you want to see in the future more and more tutorials about CapCut or maybe a light motion or any other video editing apps which i'm planning to do then please subscribe to my channel if you like this video click on the like button thanks for watching stay safe stay healthy